James Thompson, originally from Cape Town, South Africa, now living at the High Performance Centre up in Pretoria. I really didn't like cricket. I wasn't very good at ball sports and I uh, went to senior school and it was an opportunity to arrive a bit earlier and spend a whole lot of time on the river. In our system we train a lot, we're full-time athletes. Um, we aren't, we, we've created an environment without the money still to be full-time athletes. And as long as I've got food in my fridge, petrol in my car, I'll, I'll carry on driving through the HBC and doing my thing. Um, but there have been a few times I've been wondering, I've been on my last petrol tank since the Games, but we, we keep, as long as I've got enough petrol to get there, I'll go. So after the Olympics, we, we arrived home to South Africa and the police were at the end of the tunnel. And we got in the tunnel and all the ground staff had come up into the tunnel and the police were only waiting for us at the end. And we were bombarded in the tunnel and we thought that's quite weird. And eventually we got to the police escort and we got escorted out as we walked out into the open thing. Absolutely crazy. And I just think that was one of the, the most special moments for me, I think, ever. And to have all the South African rowing schools were there, all the South African swimming schools were there. And it was just this massive vibe and energy. And from there, it's just been the energy has continued and the, the euphoria within the country has really been strong and it's really brought a lot of people together. And I think that's been really special. Um, the things that have obviously changed is there's a lot of belief within the system and within the teams, within, the, within our own team, there's a lot more belief of what we're doing and obviously that's been coming slowly with a lot of under 23 world champs and um, uh, World Cup medals along the way. But obviously the Olympic result is, is the one that's given great confidence in what we're doing. Um, so in the group there's great confidence and in the country there's, there's a big push. Um, overall we've seen the schools have a big over 150% increase in firsts in what we call grade eights, first year senior school coming through and joining rowing and they've, their biggest problem now is they don't have enough boats. Great problems to have. I think that's the two elements in it. I think we have a great camaraderie within our team and just to be part of something a bit bigger than myself and um, the whole rowing South Africa team that's developing there at the Performance Centre in Pretoria. It's just, um, it just feeds energy and I, I, I love that passion that the group feeds off and that we're all pushing each other every day and that's a big thing for me to be part of that and to be part of that growing all the time. But then the real reason why I keep coming back is I love to race. To be invited to do the Cape Epic was very special I think and it's something not everyone gets to do. You know, It's hard just to get an entry that you pay for, let alone to get it sponsored an entry and get invited to come. Yeah, the Cape Epic is obviously down in Cape Town where I grew up um, and it's a very special event. It's an eight-day mountain bike stage race that is the, it's the Tour de France of mountain biking and just a great opportunity to race against the pros lined up there. One stage I was sitting in the starting pen next to the world champion and I just thought it was really cool. Another sport just to be involved with the guys and see how it all works. Future is to hopefully be able to carry on getting out to Riddleplatz and carry on training. Hopefully the funds will, will have enough to continue to do it. Hopefully the future involves a lot more racing overseas in Europe. And to get our four going a bit better, we've had a, a tough season. I've only had four weeks in the boat this year, um, so with injuries. But now we're going and we hope to attack Korea and really be, on, be firing by the time we get to Korea. And then obviously Rio is the main objective and all our eyes are on Rio right now.